what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? On Thursday, a popular British rapper named 16 Shots was murdered outside of London and British police believe that his killer is his rival, Styx. The two rappers were going back and forth with each other on a diss track, but when they met up face to face, they allegedly had a knife fight with one rapper being stabbed in the face and the other one dead. Styx went to Snapchat just a few hours after the altercation and posted a number of snaps showing his injuries. He also posted a snap asking fans to, anyway, go stream 16 shots, an obvious effort to mock his recently slain rival. The UK drill rap scene is extremely violent. Some say it is at least as violent as Chicago's drill rap scene, which is where they copied it from. Here's the background on the beef between the two rappers. Last week, Styx released a diss track going at his rival, 16 Shots. 16 Shots got wind of it and went on social media and expressed his displeasure with the song. He said he felt violated. So on Thursday, he went on a ride out looking for sticks. He caught up with them and they had a knife fight, which resulted in one getting stabbed in the face and the other dead, 25 year old, 16 shots dead. A car sped away from the scene with uh, six people, uh, the car flipped and six people ended up getting injured. I don't know if all six of the people were in the same car or what, but car flipped over, multiple people injured. Now, fam, how many times we got to go down this road? And why in the hell are people in London trying to mimic America's violent ass People should be looking at what's going on in America and say, man, we want to do the opposite of what they're doing. How is looking at rappers going back and forth, being disrespectful to one another and getting killed behind it attractive? Somebody tell me. I've been in this game for 30 years and I can't figure it out. See, when you say certain things to people and you make certain threats, I've always been taught to take every single threat seriously. And I mean, you don't underestimate no one. I don't care how small a person is. I don't care how uh, wealthy or connected or disconnected or poor. It doesn't matter. None of that matters. A threat on your life should always be taken seriously. See, and a lot of these dudes is out here playing. They ain't gonna kill nothing, ain't gonna let nothing die. Oh man, if they accidentally shot somebody, they gonna run over there and try to do CPR. Scared to death. But then there are others who are really about that. And they don't mind. They don't mind killing. But the worst part, they don't mind dying. A lot of them most often end up getting killed than actually doing something. Like, I just don't understand how people can just be so careless with their life. How someone can just take their life for granted. I would take any threat as an imminent danger. Any threat against me. And anybody that I hear making a threat against anybody, I'm saying to myself, well, it's a chance that that person is going to have to 
answer to that. I always look at it like whatever you say on the internet, on the phone, or you put out there in a rumor format, format you're going to have to answer to it more than likely. And if you have to answer to it, what are your chances for survival or things going the way you want them to go? See, I feel like your actions have to be consistent with the outcome that you want. So is that what you really want? You just want to be out here just creating unnecessary enemies and threatening people and then running out here, getting yourself killed? This dude basically died for nothing. He said something about me, I'm saying something about him. They going back and forth. Dude couldn't take it no more. See, that's another thing. If you're going to get involved in these dishes and, and you want to say, oh, we're we going to keep it on wax or whatever. If you're going to do that, do it, own it, and have enough sense to be able to take the L if you get the short end of the stick. It's like these dudes be in these rap battles and somebody say something that strike a nerve and they swing. No, man, in rap battles, uh, pretty much anything goes. And the only reason I have to say pretty much anything goes because I started hearing one, one rap battle. I heard a dude say something about raping a little girl. I'm like, nah, partner. That, that don't count. But anyway, fam, to all you youngsters out there, all you rappers out there, man, and, and not just rappers, but I say rappers because, you know, rappers catch the headlines. I'm sure a lot of people have been murdered for running their mouths on and off the internet. So be careful, fam. I know it's a serious situation, but I cannot help myself. What irony. 16 shots got stabbed by a knife 15 times. Who says you can't bring a knife to a gunfight? No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.